Okay, we've got a brand new one here from Aja Pandemonium up there at uh, Panda Land, and she is busy getting her vehicles fixed up for a big trip. They're heading to the north for the summer. So there's uh, Ed Nomad Ranch dressing channel there in his uh, Ed suit. That's his uh, Ed suit. You can, those are for sale, by the way, on his channel. <laughs> one of those Ed suits. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, He's fixing up the, uh, what is that? The, that's the pickup truck they just bought, John and, and Aisha. And so uh, getting ready to hit the road and uh, do some explorations. And uh, yeah, so uh, there it is. There's the Ed suit. I like that. I like, I gotta get one of those. Anyway, so uh, yeah. So, okay. So uh, Aisha and John get ready to hit the road. And uh, where to next, huh? All right. Uh, Full Tiny House, a nice video here from them. They are in Indiana, and somebody set off a burglar alarm on one of the RVs, and it just goes on and on and on, eh, eh, eh. and that voice, burglary, burglary, burglary. Anyway, they uh, try calling the camp host or whatever. I don't know. It's a, it's a uh, pain, and uh, they finally get that taken care of, but it's kind of scary. Anyway, at the very end of the video... We see uh, Dana and Steve and the crew pulling up to uh, somebody very special. Is that Moo Moo? Is that Aja? Yes. And they're in Iowa. Iowa. So uh, we're doing time shifting here. I don't know how old uh, Aja's video was. It must be a week or so or two or three old. But we have uh, Aja and Moo Moo there. That's about the best picture we get on it. Anyway, uh, there it is. There, there, there's uh, Aja's Panda Two or whatever she calls it, and there is Aja, and there is, uh, and there is um, Moo Moo, and they are there in Iowa. So, <clears throat> Aja said she was heading north, and now she's kind of northeast, I guess, from where they were in Arizona. So, uh, time shifting. We'll try to keep all this all in. Um, to keep the timeline going, but uh, Aja is now in, uh, that was a fast trip, boom -a -da boom same day, all the way from Phoenix, or not Phoenix, Williams, Arizona, to Iowa. Anyway, full tiny house. A new one here from uh, Camper Van Kevin. He is uh, repairing the tree damage up there in his prepper shack with Felix in um, the mountains of New Mexico. Eddie is uh, working to uh, repair the damage to trees that have been, uh, you know, people gouge into the trees and put uh, put um, uh, spray paint on them and stuff like that. So he is uh, busy uh, trying to do his best to repair the damage, and uh, you know, maybe they'll maybe it'll work. Uh, now on uh, on to our uh, nomads and their dogs. Uh, it, uh, episode for today we have Campgoer One Susie, her deer sweet uh, 15, I think 15 year old doggy who's got some health issues and some uh, some uh, expensive surgery is doing okay. Uh, so Camp Goer 1 there in Phoenix, Arizona area. Susie is out of the hospital and, um, and doing better. So if you want the latest, check out Camp Goer 1's video there, right there. Uh, move the tumor from Susie's thyroid and um, she was um, she was having a few complications, but she's doing much better. So check out Camp Goer One a video there for the latest. Hey, thanks to the Camo Dave uh, News Army for sending this report from WDIV Television in Detroit. Uh, National Park's popularity prompts a warning. They're very, very crowded. Yellowstone saw the mo most visitors for the month of May ever, up 11% from 2019. Grand Teton is up 30%, and that also sets a record. We have heard that a lot of the national parks are very crowded, and, uh, yeah, reservations are being required and all that other stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're getting lots and lots of news reports about crowded national parks. Oh, yeah. Some more news from the Army. We got Victoria Buzz here. British Columbia Ferries will announce recreational travel to resume. Uh, that is right. So Canada is gradually taking down its COVID restrictions and allowing more um, travelers and tourists to travel on uh, the, um, the ferry boats that connect um, the mainland of British Columbia where uh, 
where Vancouver is over to Victoria to a Vancouver Island and the city of Victoria and stuff like that. I'm confused. Anyway, so uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, recreational travel will resume at a number of terminals. There they are. And we're still waiting now for the two countries of Canada and the United States to uh, fully open, or at least partially open up, or relax their various um, restrictions uh, that were implemented by the pandemic. And uh, we'll see if, uh, you know, Americans and Canadians can start crossing the border for tourism reasons soon. Hopefully that will happen. Hey, did a video yesterday about LJMJ, Last Chuck Moore Journey, and their trip to Hawaii for 10 weeks and how at the end of their last video they put up there, one of their touristy videos, they kind of suggested, hey, if you want to help support our little, uh, Vacation here, you can make a donation on Patreon. I have the Beholder Inspiration says, I rarely comment on videos, however, I have never given a cent of my hard-earned money to any YouTuber. I, too, have a YouTube channel, but I am not monetized. I just enjoy the fact that YouTube allows me to have a channel for free, and I can share my adventures with anyone who takes a look, including family members and personal friends who wish to stay up to date on what's happening in my world. I would love to take vacations all over the country and the world. If I could, however, circumstances do not allow that, and that's okay too. Maybe someday, and on my own dime. Or, of course, you can take your meager savings and send it to Less Junk More Journey, and you can live vicariously and take, take a trip through their eyes to Hawaii. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than actually going. I did a video uh, visiting our local Ollie's outlet, which is a lot of a remaindered stuff from other places. I like going in there once a month and checking them out. Mike Green said, actually, this is a good, actually, this is a good video. Camo Dave actually produced a good video. Never knew that was what was in Ollie's. First time I ever saw Dave make genuine content. Well, you know what? I have my Dave Hughes channel, okay? Uh, you know, Go over there and you can watch my genuine content. But because I was talking about so many nomads in this particular video, I put it up on the Camo Dave channel. I probably got a few more views, maybe 10 more views. <laughs> but they're over on the Dave, the, the Dave Hughes channel. If you go, if you, this is my channel, okay? I like that, but Evie Nova used to say it. You go down here, I featured channels, my channel, Dave Hughes. Go to the Dave Hughes channel. And then this is uh, all the other stuff that I put up there. I do a lot of other things. I go look at crazy record shops, the Waffle House, uh, you know, post some videos of my touristy stuff. I do a lot of mukbang eating videos here. So yeah, Dave eats, explores, and travels, and all that other stuff. So I do put videos up here. I put some of my media videos up here. So the Dave Hughes channel, please go over. And my camo pants hiker videos, which I haven't done one of those in a long time. And my interview with the carpet bagger and all that other stuff. So check it out. And my uh, media, some more media stuff here. So anyway, check it out. The Dave Hughes channel. Oh yeah. Janina says, I don't see any banks lining up to give the RV odd couple money for a loan. And I don't know, do they have the cash, pipe dreams, all that is. We were talking about RV odd couple saying they're buying a campground down there in Alabama. The question I would have about that is... You know, there are hedge funds and corporations looking and scouring the countryside for you know, viable campgrounds that they can buy, invest, and upgrade. Why haven't they picked this little campground down there in Alabama? For whatever reason, you know, it's still available for sale after it's been abandoned for three years. You know, it's like that house that sits there, nobody buys it for three years. Why hasn't anybody bought it if it's such a great deal? I don't know. There's something, something there that we don't know about. I don't know. I, I wish all the best to RVI couple, John and Mercedes, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this whole thing plays out. Are they really going to get that campground or not? Matic Dullard says, my buddy Tater is back at, is back visiting Route 66. How original. It's like an old 8-track player and the tape is almost shot. Again, we're seeing nomads doing the same old, same old, same old, same old stuff over and over and over and over and over again. Got a man. A Casey Dutton, Dutton says the RV odd couple loves to complain about campers not following the rules. I'm guessing their new park will definitely have rules. That's right. <laughs> Big stone tablets. 
as you walk into the park, you know, thou shall not, thou shall not, thou shall not. Very, very may, may, uh, I don't know. All right, everybody, thank you so much uh, for watching this episode of Letters and More for the 15th of June, 2021. Thanks for watching. You all have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Vlog under.